Have you ever wondered what it's like to go to a huge baby fair and buy a bunch of crap? Well, today is your lucky day because last night I went to such a fair. Hi, I'm Emma and I am here to bring you weird content about pregnancy. I went to a crazy baby fair, so I'm gonna tell you all about it in this video. There are a bunch of used baby fairs where moms basically take their diapers that have been crapped on. So the fair that I went to was called Outrageous Outgrowns, and I can tell you that by the end of it, I had definitely found it outrageous and outgrown the whole thing. It was a crazy event. There were zillions of moms there. They had fairground parking, like rows and rows of cars, moms, scrambling to get the deals with carts and wagons. I brought my shopping cart myself. Um, I was falling all over it and I filled it up to the brim with my friends. So we're sorting through stuff. In a crazy place. <laughs> Let me show you what we got. And I'm also going to tell you how much everything cost and what it retails at. This sweater. Is it cute? I think it looks like Yosemite. Okay, here's a three pack of onesies. I just love boys clothing with cats on it. I don't know why cats are only on girls clothes. It's ridiculous. Obviously real men love cats. It almost fits me. Like not quite, but it's close. Okay, here is a Nordstrom baby. They sold a lot of bags of crap like this on these like super long tables where there was just so much crap laid out you wouldn't believe it. This is a bag of four burp, burp cloths by some brand called Mati Mati. Here's like a little romper thingy. I think it's so sweet. I just love these little pads and the little like crotch pad. This is a Burt's Bees baby pajama set. So I found this quilt. It's a handmade baby quilt. It's like by someone's mother in law. What could be cuter than a baby sailor? Overalls and you just like can't go wrong with little baby boy overalls. The, this one I don't think has ever been used. The kid who owned this before was afraid of the pool. Okay guys, let's talk about this brand. It's Aiden and Anias. They make like all the baby swaddles. I'm sure you've seen them everywhere, but like it's Aiden and Anus. Here are two little Carter's onesies. Okay, here's my like baby scholar outfit. So this sweater is a baby gap sweater with little ears on the hood. This is for when Babs gets a little bit older and he wants to just like hang out in a romper. This is a baby snowsuit for when baby goes to Boston. It's in the right size. It has the tag still on it. This bottom part turned into like a uh, like bunting thing. So if you don't want your baby to be able to like have individual legs or look like an octopus, you can like make this into like a, a mermaid. You need a Merlin's magic sleep suit. Like the baby needs it to sleep or whatever. I don't really know why they're so great. Like, this is just so cute, it hurts. I just can't even stand that, that's so cute. You, what can you get that's a dollar in the world today? Then I got another Aiden and Anis, 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 Anis. It's a Pottery Barn bath towel. And it goes on the head like this, and you wrap them all up in it, and you're like, I love you. You are so cute, and you smell good because you took a bath. So I just couldn't resist the hippo. Oh, here's a um, Baby Gap onesie in a nice, like, thick material. There's mountain pants. There's gray pants. There's blue pants. Like, the a little baby on the Titanic would wear this. It's, like, so 19... I don't know what year the Titanic sank. Like, 1912. It's adorable. These were brand new, never been opened. They're, like, little keys, and they say they're, like, really natural, and they don't have, like, bad stuff in them. Then I got one of these. This is, like, one of these spiral toys that you can take off and, like, wind around a stroller or the top of the car seat or something. So I also got this pull-and-go car, which is from Skip Hop. This, then I got one of these balls. It's called an O-Ball which sounds sort of like something sexual, but I got this whole bag of wooden toys. Oh, this goes in there. 
We all dream that our kids will play with wooden toys. Like that they're gonna be like little woodworkers and like little Santa's elves hanging out with their wooden toys. It just seems so much more sophisticated than the plastic crap. Um, so I bought some hoping he'll like it, knowing that he'll probably want the plastic crap. Finally, I got some nursing pads, disposable nursing pads for $2 and that's because my boobs have already started to leak a little bit. I think that's a lot of stuff for 200 bucks. Baby clothes are not expensive, but when you add everything up, it gets expensive. You know, it's kind of like, okay, if you buy things for like 10 bucks a piece, eventually that adds up. Whereas if you're getting them for $5 a piece, it's half the price, duh, okay, that's math. So basically what I found is that before tax, I spent $181. The retail value of all of the 32 items that I got was $600. That is an incredible amount of savings. So go me, I think I should feel super proud of myself. And even though my baby is not gonna care or be super impressed by this haul, he's just gonna wear the stuff and chew on it and poop in it and ruin it. I'm really proud of everything that I got, so yay! I do wanna talk a little bit about the sale itself because it was $200, but you have to go to this thing. So I had to drive in commuter traffic. It was about an hour and then I got there and it was like lots of people and the lines were long and I'm pregnant so I had to pee like the whole time. People are crazy. Like they're, you know, at the racks, rifling through, going bananas. So I would say the pros of going to a used baby sale are excellent, amazing deals, hanging out with your friends, feeling nesty, and getting to make a YouTube video about it. All great. And then the cons, I would say driving in traffic, waiting in long lines, super crazy people, and then looking crazy on YouTube. I think it was worth it, but am I gonna go next year when the baby's one years old? Like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm like gonna be a die hard consignment shopper, but I did have a good experience and I feel like I made some good purchases. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Here's my little YouTube thing, which is don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'm hoping to put out a lot more pregnancy content that shows off my very large bump and just is generally like psychotic and you know, whatever is like a cool thing for you to watch. So um, click subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.